Okay folks, welcome back. Hope everything's keeping well and uh, obviously doing the best. Now, I'm going to tell you a slight variation on the Jaffa Mayfly. Now, the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 in size 10. The thread that I'm going to be using is the, the tack stream and it's in a fluorescent yellow. Now, the original pattern, I believe, it was tied by a uh, channel man called Sam McGowan. So, I'm just telling it as a variant because I don't have some of the materials, i.e. The, the body materials and the haggle, the body haggle down in pick rack. So, the tail, I'm just looking at some cock fastened fibres. And this is what I mean, just use the materials that you have to tie the fly. It'll still work. Now, this fly is obviously, it's a mayfly pattern. French partridge mayfly pattern and you'll see that as we go along but it's a really good fly for uh, lock style fishing for, for salmon. Um, I know some of the boys use it for uh, the fish caramore. So if you fish caramore you're thinking about fishing it maybe you want to put one or two of these in your box. Now the rib. This is a glow bright floss number three. So I'm just going to catch it in and then just work the thread forward. You don't need to worry about lumps and bumps so I just want to tie in the, the cut ends in your rib nice and tight and then you can work your thread back and open turns. Just making sure everything's caught in. The body, this is just a bright yellow uh, traditional Irish dubbing. So just dub some of that on, slide it up, and we'll just start our body. And then make sure your threads in front of the body haggle. I'm just going to use a nice bright, sort of a fluorescent yellow Chinese cock haggle. Just offer that up, a couple of turns, catching it in, come in and trim away the, the stem and then like most of my wets that I tie, two or three turns, usually two at the shoulder of the fly and then just work the, the haggle down the body. Now if you're not confident when you're starting off, use your haggle pliers, then we'll get the rib a bit of a twist into it just to tighten it up. We're looking four turns of the glow bright floss up the body, bring it in front, follow this room with your thread. Trim away the waist, break away the tip of the haggle at the back, and then just work my thread back up. Now, on the original pattern. The next fly would be a nice bright, yeah, a bright orange, sorry. A cock or hen haggle, if you're choosing. I'm just going to use this nice burnt orange. English partridge that's been dyed burnt orange. So, just offer this up. Come around with a turn. Just fold the tip back. Work your thread back up over the, the haggle and the tip. Break that away. Right. Come on, haggle pliers at this point. I'm looking two turns out of this. Just one turn in front of the other. That's ground there. Catch that in. Bring them wee fibers back and just add that into the pattern. The fish won't mind. Right, just want to come in and nice take cut on the stem. And then just tidy up. 
in the front haggle <coughs> on the original pattern it was a nice French part reach dyed really brightly with uh, picric acid this is just a fluorescent yellow French part reach so just want to check the, the part of the feather that I want to use for the fly Now I'm only looking about a turn and a half or so, just something like that. So just offer this up. Run with a couple of turns, fold the tip back, and then work your thread back up just over the top of the tip on the hackle. Break away the tip. And then just stroke the fibers back and do one turn in front of the other. Catch that in underneath with a couple of turns now. I'm going to fold the stem back just to make the fly a wee bit more robust. And then we'll just build up our head nice and tight. Now, if you're going to be tight with your thread, you're going to break the haggle. This is your bravery test, really. If your thread's tight enough, that should be ground, you should be able to break it off and then just come in and throw in a whip finish put your thread tight and trim away your tan thread yeah. and get a wee look at our dressing see what shape it is happy enough for that now, where's that glue? there it is there <coughs> place is a mess folks be ashamed of myself now. We drop a super glue just onto the head. Tell you if the good lady comes in here, I'm gonna get a good head. <laughs> oh, I'll do a bit of a general clean round after I finish this. Then I'm just gonna come in with my needle and just make sure everything's clean. So there you go, guys. That's a just a slight variation on Sam's fly but honestly an excellent pattern for for salmon as well as, as trout so hopefully you just can tie a few of those up as always many thanks for taking the time to view the videos guys it's greatly appreciated and until the next time be good if you can't be good but like me be careful and all being well I'll catch us on the next one thanks guys bye